visa requirements of foreign governments. 2005-2006 Editor's Note The information below was issued 2005-2006 by the U.S. State Department's Bureau of Consular Affairs. Consular Information Program Top 10 Tips for Travelers this listing is for U.S. citizens traveling on tourism business and does not apply to persons planning to emigrate to foreign countries. Persons traveling on official business for the U.S. government should obtain visa information from the agency sponsoring their travel. For purposes of this publication, a visa is an endorsement or stamp placed by officials of a foreign country on a U.S. passport that allows the bearer to visit that foreign country. Note. Wherever you see the words photos required in this publication, it generally means that you will need to submit passport size, 2 inches by 2 inches, photographs. Important, this listing is prepared from information obtained from foreign embassies prior to December 2005. This information is subject to change. Check entry requirements with the consular officials of the countries to be visited well in advance. Passports, U.S. citizens who travel to a country where a valid U.S. passport is not required will need documentary evidence of their U.S. citizenship and identity. Proof of U.S. citizenship includes an expired U.S. passport or an original birth certificate. A certified copy of the birth certificate is also acceptable, but it must have the registrar's signature and erased, impressed, embossed, or multicolored seal. If you were born abroad, a certificate of naturalization, certificate of citizenship, or report of birth abroad of a citizen of the United States will suffice. To prove identity, a valid driver's license or government identification card are acceptable provided they identify you by physical description or photograph. However, for travel overseas and to facilitate reentry into the U.S., a valid U.S. passport is the best documentation available and unquestionably proves your U.S. citizenship. Before you send your passport through the mail to apply for a visa, sign it in ink, and write in pencil your current address and daytime telephone number in the space provided. This will help the U.S. Postal Service return it to you should it become separated from the envelope during processing. Some countries require that your U.S. passport be valid at least six months or longer beyond the dates of your trip. If your passport expires before the required validity, you will have to apply for a new one. Please check with the embassy or nearest consulate of the country that you plan to visit for their requirements. Some Middle Eastern or African countries will not issue visas or allow entry if your passport indicates travel to Israel. Consult the National Passport Information Center, Telephone 1-877- for USA PPT 18774872778 or TDDTTY 18888874793 for 7793 or http://www.travel.state.government/passport/index.html for guidance if this applies to you. On effective dates below, all travelers to or from the Americas the Caribbean and Bermuda will be required to have a passport or other document that establishes the bearer's identity and nationality to enter or re-enter the United States. Effective January 23, 2007, all U.S. citizens traveling by air to and from Bermuda and the Caribbean are required to have a valid passport to enter the United States. As early as January 1, 2008, U.S. citizens traveling between the United States and Bermuda Caribbean by land or sea, including ferries, may be required to present a valid U.S. passport or other documents as determined by the Department of Homeland Security. Ample advance notice will be provided to enable the public to obtain passports or passport cards for land-sea entries. American citizen travelers are encouraged to apply for a U.S. passport or the passport card when it becomes available well in advance of anticipated travel. American citizens can visit travel.state.government or call 1-877- for USA PPT 18774872778 for information on applying for a passport. Visas, if a visa is required, obtain it from the appropriate foreign consular representative before proceeding abroad.
Allow sufficient time for processing your visa application, especially if you are applying by mail. Most foreign consular representatives are located in principal cities, and in many instances, a traveler may be required to obtain visas from the consular office in the area of his, her residence. It is the responsibility of the traveler to obtain visas, where required, from the appropriate embassy or nearest consulate of the country you are planning to visit. As soon as you receive your visa, check it to make sure no mistakes were made. Processing and visa fees vary, and most fees may not be refundable. For specific details, consult the embassy or consulate of the country you plan to visit. Immunizations Under the international health regulations adopted by the World Health Organization, a country may require international certificates of vaccination against yellow fever, especially if you are traveling from an area of the world that is infected with yellow fever. Prophylactic medication for malaria and certain other preventive measures are advisable for travel to some countries. No immunizations are required to return to the United States. Detailed health information may be obtained from your local healthcare provider or by contacting the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, telephone 1-877-39487 or internet, www.cdc.government. HIV HIV testing, an increasing number of countries have established regulations regarding HIV testing, particularly for long-term visitors. Although many are listed here, check with the embassy or consulate of the country that you plan to visit to verify if this is a requirement for entry. Additional fees, all international flights are subject to U.S. immigration and U.S. customs fees paid in advance as part of your ticket. In addition, many countries have departure fees that are sometimes collected at the time of ticket purchase or upon exiting the foreign country. Afghanistan passport and visa required. Visa requires one application form, one passport-sized photo attached to application form, a passport with minimum of six months validity, an invitation letter from employer or sponsor, and proof of sufficient funds. Visa fee processed in two weeks $50, 3 days $70, and 24 hours $100, must be paid with money order or cashies check. For specific requirements, consult the Embassy of Afghanistan located at 2341 Wyoming Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C. 
Consular Information Program The State Department's Bureau of Consular Affairs provides assistance and information to U.S. citizens traveling abroad. Consular Affairs issues consular information sheets, travel warnings, public announcements, and other travel publications. The following gives a brief description of some of the information currently available through the Consular Information Program. Consular Information Sheets, Travel Warnings, and Public Announcements Consular Information Sheets are issued for every country in the world. They include such information as the location of the U.S. Embassy or Consulate in the subject country, health conditions, political disturbances, unusual currency and entry regulations, crime and security information, and drug penalties. The State Department also issues travel warnings and public announcements. Travel warnings are issued when the State Department decides to recommend that Americans avoid travel to a certain country. Countries where avoidance of travel is recommended will have travel warnings as well as consular information sheets. Public announcements are issued as a means to disseminate information quickly about terrorist threats and other relatively short-term and or transnational conditions posing significant risks to the security of American travelers. Top 10 Tips for Travelers Make sure you have a signed, valid passport and visa, if required. Also, before you go, fill in the emergency information page of your passport. Read the consular information sheets, and public announcements or travel warnings, if applicable, for the countries you plan to visit. Leave copies of your itinerary, passport data page and visas with family or friends at home, so that you can be contacted in case of an emergency. Make sure you have insurance, which will cover your emergency medical needs, while you are overseas. Familiarize yourself with local laws and customs of the countries to which you are traveling. Remember, while in a foreign country, you are subject to its laws. Do not leave your luggage unattended in public areas and never accept packages from strangers. While abroad, avoid using illicit drugs or drinking excessive amounts of alcoholic beverages and associating with people who do. Do not become a target for thieves by wearing conspicuous clothing and expensive jewelry and do not carry excessive amounts of cash or unnecessary credit cards. Deal only with authorized agents when you exchange money or purchase art or antiques in order to avoid violating local laws. When overseas, avoid demonstrations and other situations that may become unruly or where anti-American sentiments may be expressed.